All right, let's talk about, on the best business show, potentially the best entertainer of all time. Potentially the GOAT. Potentially on GOAT Mountain, Mr. Billionaire Kanye West. He now has not dropped his album. He has also held three listening parties in Atlanta and Chicago. And they estimate that he has made over $12 million before he has even dropped the actual album. Absolutely nuts when you think about how much cash Kanye West is printing right now. He last night held the third listening party in Chicago at Soldier Field. That listening party brought, I believe, a sellout audience. He sold merch. And he lit himself on fire. (laughs) He built his old childhood home on the field. It was nuts. $12 million, they say, Kanye West has already made for this album release. But he hasn't even released the album yet. Kanye West, what do we think in terms of uh, what he's pulled off here? We've got Joe's tweet that we can pull up in terms of uh, what he said about Kanye um let's see if we can pull it up in a minute kanye west made everyone wait 30 plus days for the album he held three listening parties in atlanta and chicago he rebuilt his childhood home in the stadium he lit himself on fire he got married again and sold over 12 million dollars in tickets merch etc and some of you don't think he's a genius is he is he goat status now yeah he's goat status i mean who who could do this i i honestly think uh like it's obviously been pre-planned kind of what his uh, what his deal is. And I think what he's really doing is he's just recreating the process for an album drop, right? And no one's ever done it like this where they're actually holding listening parties, multiple of them across different cities and selling out uh, merch and doing tours and stuff like that before they actually release the album. Some people think that uh, he's just kind of crazy and he's just doing it as he goes. Some people think that it's a master calculated plan. I assume it's probably somewhere in between. But what we're seeing is like he's totally flipped the industry on its head from an entertainment standpoint, right? Like this is just not the way music was traditionally done. Traditionally, you release the songs, you go on tour afterwards, and it's all kind of calculated on on how you're going to make your money from ticketing to merchandise and et cetera. And he's gone and he's just flipped it completely. And he said, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to do it in multiple different story, uh, multiple different cities, and I'm going to tell a story while I do it. And I think it's genius. I think uh, what we've seen is he's been able to command the attention of people for over a month now, right? Uh, from not even dropping the album, but doing it from merch, uh, listening concerts, everything. The album still hasn't dropped. I think people are getting a little uh, anxious for that and you can only do this for so long. But if it drops in the next week or whatever it is, then this is all a good plan because what he's done is he's just gotten free marketing and he's drummed up interest and not even free, he's made money while doing it. So I think it's smart. uh, And I think we're gonna see other artists try to replicate this in some capacity. Is he gonna drop the album? Like what if he never drops the album? He'll drop an album, but I think the concern is that one, it's not done yet, right? Like, so I think some people, I don't know if it's done, right? I think uh, there's probably more people that are more in tune with kind of the music and stuff like that that probably have a better idea. But there's definitely whispers that it's not done yet. Uh, or yeah, he won't drop it, or uh, he's finishing some things, or maybe he even has it ready. I know that he's selling these devices, which are like $200, that have the songs pre-recorded on them, <laughs> which is genius again, because he's just going to make more money doing that. He's selling songs for $200, yeah. and he just it happens to have put them onto the- uh, A device like, that probably costs essentially nothing. $5. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The Bluetooth speaker, and so he's essentially selling unreleased music for $200 per person, and it's genius because you can't take the Bluetooth uh, device and upload it or leak it or do anything. It's stuck in a device. And so literally, if you want the whole album, what do you have to do? Spend a thousand dollars? Yeah, it's a social experiment. It's just like if, if you and your friends want to go listen to it, you're all going to go buy the thing. You're going to he I mean, he's commanded the Internet now for a month, right? Everyone on Twitter has been talking about uh, his listening parties, his shows, the merchandise and all the stuff. I actually saw a good point about it earlier, too. They were talking about how he's changed the merchandise uh, business for artists. When you traditionally think about it, you would go to a concert and t-shirts were $10, $5, scalpers were selling them, whatever, right? They were very uh, kind of cheap and they were used as mementos for you to be able to tell people that you went to a show, you attended a concert, you were there. And now what he's done is he's taken that fashion business that he created and he's he's moved it within kind of his uh, ecosystem of entertainment and music. And now he's selling 
the merch line yesterday, uh, I don't know if we have a picture of it eventually, but it was it was a massive. There was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people waiting there to buy $100 t-shirts, $200 sweatshirts, all this stuff that's extremely expensive. And what he's done now is create this ecosystem where his merch plays off his music and his music plays off his merch. And then he's able to do live events and concerts still where artists would traditionally make the most money. There's photos from uh, the second listening uh, event and then also from last night that we're gonna pull up here. And when you see these, some of these photos feels like this is like iconic stuff, right? Yeah. That literally 20 years from now, we'll be like, hey man, you remember when Kanye lit himself on fire? Yeah. Right, and people are like, what? And be like, yeah, dude, look, like here's a photo. Uh, we've got the, here's the one of him actually lighting himself on fire. That is Kanye I, West. I, when I tweeted this earlier and I said, some people think he's still not a genius. People were saying, they said, lighting yourself on fire, dot, dot, dot. Sounds real genius. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he sold out the stadiums, yeah. made $12 million, and you, he literally has the entire world in the palm of his hands waiting for him to drop the to album. Drop he's album, a creative yeah. genius. Yeah. He's definitely a creative genius. Uh, the second photo that we have is of the actual uh, home that he built uh, in terms of he rebuilt his childhood home on Soldier Field. And he's got smoke coming out everywhere. Uh, and um, Stephen Galanis, uh, Cameo CEO, shout out to Cameo, uh, was there last night. And he was tweeting and he's posting on Instagram and stuff. And he's like, dude, we've been waiting for an hour and 45 minutes. Kanye's not here. Yeah, I thought, he, I think he said like it was like 1 30 in the morning and he wasn't there or something, right? Crazy. Yeah. I don't think it was that late, but it was pretty late. I mean, that'd be wild. Yeah, should, so that's the house gone. right there. We should have gone. We should have went. We should have definitely gone. All right. So if we have to judge Kanye on two things, one, is Kanye a creative genius? I. John just said, yeah, I, right? I. I. I, I, yeah, I all right. Man. Kanye creative genius. Two. Is Kanye a genius businessman? I. I. I, yeah. Is John is uh, Kanye the goat musician? He almost says John the goat musician, but we'll let that go. <laughs> <laughs> is Kanye the goat musician? I wouldn't say no. that. No. No. John? Ooh, John thinks that Kanye is the goat? No. Well, I think that's where people get uh, confused when you talk about him being a genius, right? They take it as in he's the best artist ever and all this stuff. I don't think it's that. I think it's the combination of him being a really good artist, but also being one of the best business-focused artists from that perspective that we've ever seen, right? So he owns 100% of Yeezy, right, which is a billion-dollar company. Uh, he claims that he was, what was the story? He was $53 million in debt, and he asked Mark Zuckerberg, to, uh, for what do you want? He wanted a billion dollars. He said, to give me a billion dollars. I need money for my ideas. <laughs> he, said, he, said, he said, I want you to invest in my ideas. Mark Zuckerberg's like, no, dude. Well, he's probably like, what ideas? Well, guess what? Yeah. He should have. Guess yeah. what? Kanye's worth $6.6 .6 billion yeah, now. Have. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing, right? Like he has done a better job than anyone of developing his talent from a business perspective and selling that to make, to gain personal wealth for himself. Dude, he made so I think that's million the dollars before he dropped an album and he's still making money. Yeah, and I honestly think that's probably low. I would assume that's all probably right, low. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Forbes, over under, Forbes has listed Kanye West uh, current net worth at 1.8 billion. That's way under. That's a low ball. <laughs> I don't even think that's close. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, how is Forbes? They're off all the time. I it mean, it's tough because they don't know, right? They just... What do you mean? They're taking estimates based on the equity that he would have in company. Yeah, so this is a good, this is a good example of... Uh, how hard this stuff is to gauge for some people, right? Some people it's easy. If all their money's tied up in a public equity, you can see how much they own and all this stuff. And you know, whatever, he owns a house here and all this stuff, it's, it's much easier to estimate. But for someone like Kanye, who has so many different sources of income and owns all these different businesses, it's much harder. But to, to, for context here, Forbes has it at a billion, just over a billion dollars. Uh, Business Insider released a report, I don't know who their source is here, but they had them listed at 6.6 .6 billion. Right, so six times what Forbes had at the same time period. So it's I just cited that number one two. and six, yeah. But that's my point. It's it's it, these numbers are just an estimate, right? You you really have no idea. But I think it's comfortable that he's above a billion. Do you want to know why I think he's way above the one point eight billion? Why? You have his music sales, which they can back into. You have concert tickets. You have merchandise sales. They kind of they can you know have good estimates of that stuff. Everyone knows Yeezy is incredibly valuable, so they're trying to estimate that. What most people are not good at estimating on the net worth side. What are the assets he owns, right? The homes, the stocks, ranch. <laughs> all this stuff. Yeah, okay, so that's one. Two is, don't forget that he's got a creative company that he's the founder and CEO of called Donda that they almost never talk about. So there's Yeezy, but then he's got Donda as well. How much is that company worth? Yeah. Nobody well, ever talks about that. 
Kanye West just shows up and says, yo, I got a creative company. If you can buy my company and you get all my creative ideas, that's worth a billion dollars just by that. Well, so I just Googled this real quick and it says, Enter this is an, art an article from Axios. Entertainer Kanye West sneaker company, Yeezy, which was valued at $3 billion, was valued at $3 billion according to a Bank of America document from 2019 reviewed by Bloomberg. He owns 100% of Yeezy, right? So when you think of it, and, and there's some kind of royalty structures and, and licensing deals he's worked out with a bunch of different companies, but if it's worth $3 billion and he owns 100%, his net worth is above a billion. Of course. <laughs> Kanye West is a billionaire. He's a marketing genius. He's a creative genius. He's also a musical genius, but he may not be the GOAT musician, which is fine. That's okay. I don't think that Kanye West considers himself a musician. I think he considers himself a creative, a creator. He, cre he thinks of himself as somebody who um, builds things, who, who constantly is pushing the uh, pace of innovation in an industry. Musician is just one form of that creativity, right? And I think that's why he's so inspiring. Hey guys, bang, bang. Thanks so much for watching The Best Business Show today. And don't forget to check out our partner, SoFi. They make all this possible. They're a super app that lets you save, spend, borrow, earn, and invest all from one single platform. And if you go there today and you sign up for a SoFi Invest account, you can get between $5 and 1,000 bucks for free from SoFi. Not everyone's obviously gonna get $1,000, but everyone gets something. Don't say that I never did anything for you. Go check them out at SoFi.com slash pomp, download the app, and go ahead and open an account. SoFi.com slash pomp, and make sure you come back and watch more of the best business show. We're gonna build the biggest business show in the world, and we need your help.